Ah! Let's do it. Good afternoon, police sports. Welcome to the VGC Battle Stim Regulation G video. Bringing you the crab. We got the crab on the field. Crabominable's here. Crab Hammer, close combat coaching, wide guard with water, Terra, focus sash, and hyper cutter. Listen, Crabominable is not the best thing ever. It is slow. It does hit hard. And it's typing sucks, but we we overlook that because we can change that now with the water typing We could turn it into a typing that no longer has a bajillion weaknesses instead only has two Now on top of that it's slow that means Kevin gets to play trick room That means I'm happy because what we could do here is set up trick room with the calyrex ice set up trick room with the fridge giraffe Follow me redirect with the magmar figure it out from there with the blurs and then we have urshifu here just to scare them a little bit as well Urshifu, I don't know if I'm gonna use it too much this uh, this video just because I'm trying to showcase Crabominable, but Urshifu is probably a great option for late game trick room in situations where you don't want to bring the crab and you just want to bring like Calyrex for a giraffe or Saluna and then like late game Urshifu. Or maybe even Urshifu lead with U turn to chip something away, swap into something a little bit stronger after you're able to set up trick room with Calyrex. You have a lot of options there. As for the Magmar, it's also Grass Terra with Flame Body so they can make opposing Urshifu waters very sad. Or even like Zama's and Sensations can make them very sad as well because they have to make physical contact with you. And of course, every time they make physical contact with you, Flame Body has a chance of proccing, which can burn them, which could essentially neutralize them from the remainder of the game. Burn is so important on physical attackers if you can land it. In case your Flame Body sucks, you do also have Will-O-Wisp, but I mean, Will-O-Wisp also sucks. <laughs> so, you know, you got a little bit of a give and take there. Helping Hand is great on Magmar though. As for the Calyrex, standard Calyrex stuff, Dragon Terror this time around though, Fridge Raff, standard Fridge Raff, and then Blurse, of course, standard Blurse. The whole star of the show here is Crabominable. Being able to click Wide Guard, Crabominable is one of those Wide Guard users, because like there are some Wide Guard users where you just assume they have Wide Guard, like Pelipper, like Araquanid, like uh, Mien Xiao, like him on top. You just kind of know they have it. You assume they're going to click it, and then they click it. Crabominable is weird enough and stupid enough that uh, I'm sure not everyone has that memorized that Crabominable has wide guard. So, you know, you might catch some some trainers off guard, be able to wide guard in front of them, make them sad. Coaching's also there to boost Calyrex up even further. Everything just kind of works together on this team and I'm happy about that. Anyway, this team is from Extra Pickle 19 who did post this on the, on the Discord. You guys wanna join the Discord and post the team there? Gotta join it at pokesports.info. Has the Discord link there along with the Patreon, the merch store, the Twitter, the Instagram, it has everything that you need there that has the word Pokesports in it. So go ahead, click all those links, have a fun time, and I will see you guys in the first battle. Let's get on to this video. All right, it's crab time. How does crab to into Calyrex Shadow is the next question. Not great, right? It's not incredibly awesome, but it's possible. I do have wide guard actually, so that's not the worst. Blurse is great here too. All right. I got options. I got a lot of options, actually. I think my initial option is going to be, since they don't really have that many things on their side of the field, like a one-shot of Fridge Raff, I'm leading it. I'm going to bring Fridge Raff. You could also just do Fridge Raff Crumb Abominable. Then I can really make sure they can't one-shot this thing. You know what? Yes. Ferrigiraf, Crabominable, bring in the Calyrex Shadow Ice, and then Blur send that back. Going hard Trick Room this time, leaving her follow me redirection behind. Let's see what happens. I have high hopes here, especially if they decide to leave with like Calyrex, Shadow, and Clefairy. I'll have options into that. If they decide to, to lead Rillaboom, I'll have options into that. They can't fake me out, so that's all I care about, and they can't taunt me, so that is also what I care about. We just gotta set Trick Room and win. They lead Calyrex Shadow and Urshifu. We eat. We're fine, I think. Big question mark. Listen, I said Trick Room, and I don't think. That is the plan, that is the goal, that is the way. Next question is, do I wide guard? I think that's a yes, so I'm gonna click it. Cause even though they can't Astro Barrage my 
Farigera from the field, they can still try to get rid of Microbominable this turn. So I'm trying. To, I'm gonna try to keep it simple, keep it stupid. They're just gonna Fairy Terror right away. Maybe fearing I have. Why? Maybe it has to be defensively. Maybe fearing I have, I'm gonna go for a foul play this turn or just a knockoff. Or they just want to kiss Microbominable. Nope. That's not cutting it. Plus the Surging Strikes. We eat. Perfect. The right amount of damage. Hardly. Wait. That last one did 52. I'm so sad. By one HP. Dude. By one HP, I wasn't able. <laughs> that is so silly. They just saw my wide guard too. Um, let's try again. Same thing, I'm wide guarding again. Cause now's a better time to wide guard. It's fine, we're okay, not a problem. Wow, that's crazy. We just got screwed over by one HP. We went from 103 to 51. Dang. All right, they just kiss again, fine. As long as I'm getting my trick room up here somehow, I will take what I can get. Fine, I'm, I'm gonna take what I can get. I'm getting trick room up here. <laughs> hey, goodness. Okay. A problem averted? I mean, it wasn't really averted, but it's tolerated now. It, it's definitely tolerated. At this point, I'm gonna dragon tear this. Go for the Glacial Lance, and there's a 90% chance that I suck, or a 10% chance that I suck. They might whip out the Aqua Jet, but I'm pretty sure they're Scarfed. Oh no, they're not, because the Drain Kiss was going first. They might not be Scarfed. If they do Aqua Jet, I might be in a little bit of trouble on Probomitable. They don't. Neat. Crab hammer. Decent chunk. Not a lot of damage, though. Hopefully this will finish the rest. It doesn't. Oh, great. This is bad. I thought I would be a lot tankier than this. I'm not. What is happening? Why is nothing doing damage? Is this just, like, full offensive? It must be. Well, thankfully, they only drained back 9 HP. Either, either Crabominable sucks, or they are very defensive with that Calyrex Shadow. But I'm thinking they're defensive with Calyrex Shadow because even my Glacial Lance didn't hurt that bad. Okay, um, somehow we're still not winning the game. Let's see what else we can think of. Let's go into Blurs, and again, hope they don't have Aqua Jet. I'm like almost sketched out by what's happening. Let me switch to close combat then, I guess. Let me CC instead. We hyper voice, we CC, we pray. My opponent's also not afraid of the trick room at all. They are still attacking through. They're not protecting, they're not hiding, they're accepting. And I'm struggling. Like, this isn't what winning looks like right now. I am down two Pokemon <laughs> and haven't even chipped one of their Pokemon yet. They do finally protect. Okay. All right. Thankfully, they don't Aqua Jet again. Neat. We're still not out of this one. We do have a couple more turns to make use of this Trick Room, but once it ends, we are in a world of pain. They're definitely going to swap out that Calyrex Shadow to this next turn, right? Because that's totally their win con. It might, it might not be, though. Because, like, I do have Wide Guard. So a smart and well-timed Wide Guard might still save the game for me. All right, Grim's here. How many turns of this do I have left? Two trick room turns, all right. 
I think, yeah, we just still Hyper Voice that should knock out their Calyrex. And we CC the Grim. Doesn't matter how much we lower our defenses, we're gonna <laughs> die at 1 HP anyway. We're gonna die to the next hit that happens, regardless. Ooh, Fairy. Oh, they have Fake Out. That's actually bad. All right. I still got one more turn, and hopefully they got no protects. We'll see. Hyper Voiced. Crab Hammer Fairy. There's a way we lose this, and that's if they get a light screen up, maybe. I don't think the Grim has Protect. Because the light screen would prevent me from maybe knocking out with... Yeah, this is bad. Maybe knocking out with a uh, Hyper Voice. Oh, and a Life Dew. Okay, so they're going to keep these two goons on the field for a little bit longer, too. That's right, because the Clefairy actually outspeeds everything right now. Oh, that did nothing. Wow. All right, let's hyper voice. Kerbalinal's probably going down to the next hit here, unfortunately. Oh, they parting shot. Oh, wait! Throw, maybe? Unless they didn't follow me. Hold on. I'll see how much the CC does. Is this the throw? Back into Calyrex. I'm gonna outspeed now. Enjoy this hyper voice. Oh no, they take that so well. Dude, this Calyrex has to be like... Okay, good. Grabominable knocking out the raid boss. But this Calyrex is eating these hits like it's nobody's business. I understand there's light screen, but still. This is a Blurse. That is a Calyrex. It should not be doing that much damage in my brain. All right, they life do again, but only themselves. Beautiful. They got no damage left. They do got a free fake out turn to use here. They can use it if they want. I think I'm just going to keep attacking, though. I'm actually going to switch to Blood Moon just in case they don't. Does Crab Hammer just suck? It's a base 100 move with a high crit chance. It's not stab, so I guess that might be cutting it. It's crab hammer. Battle was canceled. Okay. I somehow won. That was probably one of the sloppiest games we've had in a very long time. You know what? It's the first game of the video. It's the first game of the day. I think, you know, hopefully it'll get better as we progress. On to the next. For alligator on a rain team. Why does this actually sound very terrifying? On a rain team? What do I do? A fairy terror here. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to have to lead Calyrex and Dragon Terra turn one. I do, I do also have wide guard, though. Yeah, I think for a giraffe plus Calyrex is my best lead. Brick Cabominable in the back. Final Pokemon Blurs. Lock those four in. I definitely get Trick Room up here. Because I have a lot of ways to set it up, thankfully, on this team. Like, I have ways to prevent myself from dying to the Ogre. I have ways of preventing myself from dying to the For Alligator. We do have to remember they have a Hisuian Zorg on the team. So maybe we have to pay attention to abilities specifically. That's it. That's the one easiest way to get rid to to bypass falling for a, a Hisuian Zoroark is just like, you know, if it's going to be a Kyogre and it doesn't set Drizzle, you kind of know it's a Hisuian Zoroark, things like that. Shen Pao Urshifu, let's see. Will they show the Sword of Ruin?
Do I Dragon Terra this? I guess I do. I guess I just go for the Dragon Terra. And one of these two things has Sash. Pretty sure it's Chen Pao. So I'm just gonna foul play the Chen Pao, get rid of it. I don't actually need my Fridge Wrap on the field. It's not my Trick Room Setter. And I can't protect and hide from this damage, so I just have to accept this damage. If they go for the Wicked Blow on me, so be it. And there it is. Wow, that's banded. Okay, that's a Zoroark. <laughs> We're living though, so that's neat. Eat this foul play, buddy. I had my I had my suspicions. I was like, huh. I said I should pay attention to the abilities, but honestly, I wasn't paying a lot of attention because I was talking, so I didn't want to say that I was paying attention to the abilities, but I don't remember there being Sword of Ruin. Neat. All right, cool. Uh, we're in a great spot now. We Glacial Lance, and we foul play on that side of the field. And they're going to have to worry about what's next. Interesting that... Uh, that's an interesting decision for Hisuian Zoroark to copy because of like the whole fighting type not affecting it, etc, etc. But yeah, the, the Sword of Ruin not being there gives it away. So you're just like, oh, okay. Here's a G Lance, and they're definitely banded, so. Oh, I was hoping that would do a little bit more than that. My Calyrex Ice might not be like max damage. Is that, is that what I'm seeing here? So I'm, I'm expecting this to do more every single time. Yeah, I'm 196 brave. I mean, I'm not far off. <laughs> I'm pretty darn close. All right, my restrict is going down though. That's the unfortunate thing. But you know what? We get Crabominable on the field. That's something. I don't know if I should bring it onto the field right now. Hey, why not? It's your video anyway, right, Crabominable? You might as well join the party. Uh oh. I mean, I do have wide guard. Maybe I should show them the first wide guard. It's Cause the foul plays are not doing damage. Yeah, I'll wide guard once. I guess we can see how much a psychic noise does to Ogre. Just chip it down a little bit. I just want to show them that I have wide guard so that they don't go for it again. We'll see if they fall for that trick. Oldest trick in the book. Okay. There's the origin pulse. And next goes the Ursh. Who I hope will knock out for a giraffe here. Good. Get my blurs on the field. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're the best. You're the best ever. That's what I wanted, <laughs> to get my Blurse on the field. Uh, now the Ogre pretty much has to go for a single targeted move or swap out. They don't have much of a choice. So I think I'm going to just click Wide Guard again, because why not? Because Ogre doesn't have that many moves that are good. That aren't spread. We Hyper Voice this turn. We just get the Hyper Voice off, finish off the Urshifu, figure out the rest afterwards. All my setters are dead, that's the one problem that I'm seeing. Oh, let's just keep wide guard until we can't no more. I'm not gonna fall victim to the wide guard once, not wide guard second turn. They go for the same spread move again. That's why we wide guarded twice, baby! <laughs> Alright, good. I don't know if they're locked onto that somehow, but I'm not taking my chances, you know? What's their final? Oh, it's Chen Pao. We know already. Hi, Chen Pao. Welcome to the party, friend. I'm thinking I don't wide guard this turn. How much damage am I doing with Hyper Voice? Enough? It's a little risky not wide guarding, though. No? That could just cost me the game.
How about we like focus down this ogre before I make before I make that decision? We'll just throw attacks into this ogre here. All right, Chen Pao looks like it's gonna ghost Terra. That's so dark, Terra. It's gonna sucker punch me. I might be what it wants to do. I still have Sash attack though. Who are they sucker punching? It's the bear. I should eat one. Yeah, please. Please get out of here. Crab hammer. Get that ogre out of here. All I'm saying is Crabominable has knocked out every restricted Pokemon on the opposing side of the field so far. That's all I'm saying. It might not mean anything to you, but it means something to me. Straight one shot the Gen Pao too with the hyper voice. Get out of town, folks. Okay, so that means that their Urshifu must have the sash then. I wonder what the Chen Pao had. That's interesting. Anyway, Crabominable's taking another win. Why not? We're winning with the crab. GG's. Let's go for the next one. Zama Zenta on a Tailwind. Zama Zenta doesn't scare us too much. It scares us a little bit. We thankfully don't need like fake out or anything. For, for this matchup. In fact, they don't have a lot of spread moves in general, so I could just go Kyrex and... and Magmar. Bring Crab, bring Blurs in the back, leave Fringe, for a giraffe behind. I like that. Let's do that. For a giraffe... Uh, not for a giraffe. Uh, Blurs is going to be my way through their Zamazenta. Magmar is going to be great also to Zamazenta because I can redirect all the attacks into the Magmar. Maybe activate Flame Body here and there. Probabino is going to be a Crab. So that's gonna be fun. And then uh, hopefully Calyrex Ice can do Calyrex Ice things. I guess some, some KOs for us. You like how I, uh, that's the game plan. Set up Trick Room, think later. That's the great thing about Trick Room. You only have to worry about turn one. If you mess up turn one, you can just forfeit. <laughs> so much easier afterwards. All right, this is the fastest follow me that I've ever gone for. Are they booster speed? Lol. Special attack. Okay, that, that is worse for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna trick room. And I'm gonna follow me. I'm not gonna think. I'm just gonna do this. Set up trick room. Move on. There's booster special attack. So there's no way in heck that they have imprisoned trick room. Especially since they just used shadow ball turn one. Stomping tantrum. Fair enough. Doesn't knock me out though, so I get to click follow me one more turn. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. All right, trick room's up. Best of luck opponent. Glacial Lance. Follow me again. If they E speed, they E speed. I don't think I mind too much. I don't think the Flutter, yeah, the Flutter's gonna protect. They don't wanna take Glacial Lance to the face. But if they're special attack booster, they might be more physically invested because they don't have the speed that typically Flutter mains would want. All right, Entei's taking a little bit of trip damage there. Not too much. But then a Sacred Fire onto Magmar. Magmar going down a soldier. Now I wonder if I should, I think I should. It's crab time, baby. We got crab hammer. Wonder if I should Dragon Terra. I think I should. Let me Glacial Lance. Crab Hammer Entei here. They withdraw the Flutter Man. Okay, whatever's coming in has to take a Glacial Lance then. That's one that can do it. All right, I'm gonna have to get my Blurse on the field though, right? Now that they got rid of my Magmar, I don't really have a great answer to the Zamazenta. Unless I can predict a Protect coming out of it next turn. And swap in my Ursaluna. That's the only thing that I can do, I think. Crab Hammer! Straight one-shot that thing. Alright, so we get a little bit more damage here with the Glacial Lands. That's always nice. Before I just crit through the Zamazenta's defenses. Yeah, no. Look at that. Not doing any damage there. You guys think they body press my Calyrex? Wow. 
I hope not. They might ice move my Calyrex. Ugh. Let me glacial again. I don't know. They they probably protect, right? This is a risky turn. I think they protect though. They have the opportunity to protect with both Pokemon. Why wouldn't they do it? I mean, if I'm really predicting that, I should be going for coaching. Just get my defense up a little bit. Ah! Let's do it. I'm predicting them to double protect. It burns a turn of Trick Room, puts them in a favorable position for next turn. It makes the most amount of sense for them currently at the moment. Okay, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, Zamazenta, please do it too. Dang it! Well, hopefully this coaching helps. Hopefully this, co I mean, unless they're iron defensive. If they're iron defensive, I don't care. Oh, thankfully they chose Cravominable. Woo! Woo! All right. You guys think they have earth power though? I mean, they have protect, probably. This is my only shot, so I have to go for it. I'll just CC this Chen Pao. I hope they don't have Protect on Zama, or they don't click it. Maybe they get a little greedy here. The Zama's hard, man. It's hard to break through. Chen Pao swaps, okay. Oh, dang, I did go for the CC. Oh, okay, they got me there. They got me there good. If they Protect too, then I might. it might just be it over. Okay, no, they're not protecting. They are terrestrializing. Wow, my opponent's just gaming me so hard right now. Hold the phone. I think I just lost. So I'm going to do absolutely no damage here with Earth Power. Okay, listen, my opponent's gaming and they're getting me. I get rid of my crab. My win con here has now become living a moon blast and living a body press. They're definitely doubling my, my Calyrex. Can we all agree? So I kind of just want a blood moon, one of these two. I think I'm choosing Fluttermane and protect. I think they're doubling my Calyrex. They must be. I gotta keep my Calyrex as safe as possible for as long as possible. The problem is they're gonna get Chimp on the field next and that's not gonna be any better. All right, there's the Moonblast. I need the Body Press to go there too. I think I take a Flutter for free at least. All right, good. Woo! I'm chipping my way back. It's not easy though. My Blurs is safe this whole time, too. Because they have to keep doubling my Ice Horse now. Like, I forced them onto doubling my Ice Horse. Now, I mean, if I really wanted to be real, I can fish for the double protect. That'll really get me back in this game. Yeah, because it's either I double protect or they double into Calyrex and knock me out. So I, I have to double protect. I don't get it, though. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't know they were going to miss! Oh, come on! I could have trick roomed! Oh, I wish I knew they were going to miss. Right now, at this point, though, what I do is I go for double spread moves because they can't knock both of my Pokemon out, can they? Oh, they can. I could have won this game last turn if I just went for the trick room instead of trying to double protect. I think now I just go for double spread moves. I didn't know my opponent sucked that bad. Listen, <laughs> JK. Oh, this is just rude. My opponent is losing to two ice school crashes in a row. I don't deserve this win, folks. Can we all take a second to, to say that I don't deserve this win? 
I really don't. My opponent played absolutely insanely. I didn't win yet. Never mind. I'm going to put this back because I am speaking too soon. I'm going to die to one body press. Actually, no, I died to one body press. Yeah, at this HP, I definitely died to one body press. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. My opponent's going to win for sure. I know I'm plus one defense. I don't think it matters. Unless I live at 13. What a game. Blood Moon, get this loser out of here. <laughs> Critical hit on one HP. Dude, I've never had so much Kevin luck go my way in like the last three turns of a battle And I'm gonna end up dying in the end. This couldn't have gotten closer uh, The crime's undefeated folks. I'll, that's all I'm saying Petite, I am so sorry for what you did to, to RNG Jesus today. I uh, um, there's nothing that I could say that'll make that last game look any better than it was. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the very end of the video. Thank you so much, Extra Pickle 19 for going ahead and posting the team on the Pokesports Discord. If you guys want to go and post the team on the Discord, join it at Pokesports.info. Check out our Patreon if you want some more VGC content where we use very, very, um, meta teams. I think I'm using a Balance Amba's Engine team right now with like E-Speed, Dragonite and stuff. So yes, it is very heavy meta, but we get a lot more wins. So that's always nice. Anyway, have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. I'm Kevin, this is Pokesports. Peace out and bye-bye.